The next comedian coming to the stage is Sabrina Fisher. What's up? Y'all got smartphones? Everybody believe in them? I don't believe in them. They think they so smart. Like my smartphone told me it was gonna take me an hour and 10 minutes to get here. And I was like, oh, I said, oh shit, I'm gonna be late for the show. Little did they know the show was on CPT time. That's right. You gotta be faster than it. You ever be in your car and be trying to outrace the damn time though? You like, oh, it's gonna take me 15 minutes. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, beat you by two minutes, bitch. <laughs> Yeah, I be trying to do all kinds of things with my smartphone. I was like, because some people out here, they really think they smart. They're like, you know, you shouldn't believe in the virus, man. No, don't get that shit. That COVID, you got to get that. I was like, well, if I want a job, you know, I think I need to get this shot. Like, <laughs> like they threatening to fire us. And we was like, nah, man, that's what the man wants you to do. Don't listen to the government. I was like, you do the speed limit? He was like, yeah. I was like, so you listen to the government then, right? <laughs> like, shut the fuck up. You know? <laughs> like, I don't know, just people be out here doing different stuff, you know? Um, I don't believe in my um, smart devices, though. Like, my watch be trying to tell me stuff. You're like, you need to breathe. I'm like, I've been breathing. I'm like, what you talking about, man? <laughs> like, you need to stand up. I'm like, don't tell me what to do. I don't want, I don't like it. I don't like it, you know? But sometimes I be trying to compete with people. They got 10,000 steps, they be walking. And he's like, did you get your steps in? I be like, man, I'm only at 6,000. But I found a life hack. All you gotta do is turn on some Andy Griffin and start watching him like, what's up, Aaron B? <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh. Oh. Man, you get the rest of your strokes, right? There. I mean, 10,000 steps. That's what you do. You be like, go to the chief. It'll tell you, too. You'll be like, oh, you're almost there. Right there. Here you go. All right, go to the chief. And I'm like, yes. Life hack. They'll never know. <laughs> like, um, um, I should have did that a long time ago because uh, I got five kids. Yeah. Yeah. Man, y'all don't even look like it, right? I know a lot of people are like, how old are you? I'm like 42. They're like, damn. It's like, black don't crack. I'm like, no. But my knees do. <laughs> like, and my back do. And my feet do. Sometimes I'll be walking across the floor and you sound like a bag of chips. Just <laughs> I'll be like, anybody want some Frito Lays? <laughs> you know those things. Uh, <laughs> uh, nah, for real, man. Uh, getting older, it's just, it's different. Like, um, you have people be talking some uh, all these 70s and 80s babies looking younger than ever. I'm like, but how you feel? Like, I know you woke up this morning, you're like, oh, ah, my hip hurt. And, like, and that's enough of an excuse to not go to work. And you're like, do I got enough PTO days? <laughs> like, I think I'm gonna call in. I just don't wanna go in at all. You know, uh, my five kids, they, um, they all different. You know, um, my oldest is 16 and my youngest is eight. And then my middle child, you like, I don't know if you notice, you're going to get half and half in your kids. And whatever you breed with, and I say breed, because like, um, some people genetically look at people and you're like, they got nice hair. And I'm like, oh, he's tall. And I'm like, he got hair. And I'm like, you don't know he going to go bald. I'm like, you don't know that. And I'm like, women be judging, talking about something. Oh, you trying to hat fish me? And I'm like, I could have swore you had a different hairstyle last week. I'm like, I don't know. It was like Becky's still wondering. You know, I'm like, I'll snatch that off. Um, <laughs> Becky go to work. You know, um, I got, I got, I got a solution for y'all. Y'all know, um, Karen. You know how to make a Karen stop caring? Like, you know, like all you need is 15 bitches, right? And I ain't talking women or dogs. It was like, bitch, 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 bitch. <laughs> Because Karen been caring in too much. Like, what's going on? Why you always in my business? Like, black people don't go by that quota. We got different numbers. We're like, hey, 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 hey. 
hey, that's none of your business, okay? <laughs> like, it was like, hey, hey, they shooting over there. That ain't none of my business. You know, like, what the hell you talking about? I'm trying to get home and live. Like, I got insurance, okay? All right? You know, I got these kids out here, and you know, we don't think about wills. Y'all ever thought about that? Last will and testament, it was like, black people will go to the grave. Like, you'd be like on the brink of death. You'd have had a heart attack. You sitting up on the bed, and you all of a sudden, you just sitting there just, <sighs> was like, man, COVID almost took me out. It was like, yeah, so you got insurance? You're like, nah, I'll be all right. <laughs> like, you really thought you was gonna make it, and your family was just gonna sit there and be like, you know what I'm gonna do for him? We're like, we gonna go fund this nigga. We're like, that's what we gonna do. Go fund me, because he ain't shit anyway. You ever had a woman tell you you ain't shit? I had a woman tell me that. I was like, you ain't shit. I was like, damn, it kind of hurt a little bit. Then she told me my mama was a shit. And I was like, wait a minute, hold on, bitch. <laughs> then she said my daddy was a shit. And I was like, whoa, whoa, now we get personal. She said, the only thing good about you is your dick. And I was like, is that a compliment? Anyway, hey, man, that's my time. <laughs>